In this video, we're going to have a look at the volume of similar shapes. Now, you saw in the previous video how you would deal with the area of similar shapes. And we saw how you had to know what was meant by the scale factor of enlargement and the scale factor of reduction. Now, if we look at this cube, this green cube here, and we look at the kind of beige colored cube, we can see that the beige colored cube is twice as long, twice as broad, twice as high. But when you think of the volume of the green cube, how many of these green cubes are going to go in to the beige colored cube? And we can see that we have four in the bottom layer. We have another four in the top layer. And you see there that eight of the green cubes went into the brown or the beige cube. So although the scale factor of the linear scale factor of enlargement is two, the volume scale factor is uh, eight. And we know that 2 cubed, 2 to the power of 3, is 8. So this gives rise to the fact that the volume scale factor is just a linear scale factor cubed. So whenever you're dealing with a question involving the volume of similar shapes, you've got to cube the linear scale factor. Okay? So let's have a look at a few examples and let's see what we would do. Now, if we have a look at these two cylinders, we're told that they're similar. And we're told the volume of the smaller cylinder, you're told that it's uh, 2,250 centimeters cubed, or milliliters, if you like. And you're asked to find the volume of the large cylinder. So what we need to do is we need to identify the linear scale factor of enlargement, which in this case is just 18 over 12. So the volume scale factor of enlargement is going to be 18 over 12 all cubed. Okay, so if I want to find the volume of the large cylinder, I just take the volume of the small cylinder, which was 2,250, and I multiply that by the volume scale factor of enlargement, which is 18 over 12 all cubed. Okay, and working that out to one decimal place, you get that the volume of the large cylinder is 7593. Point eight centimeters cubed. Okay, that's it to one decimal place. So that's how you would deal with that question. Given the two uh, diameters of the base of the cylinder, you uh, can can work out the linear scale factor, and you can get the volume scale factor from that. Okay, let's have a look at another question. And this time, what we're asked to do is find the volume of the small bottle. So you've got two similar bottles. You're told the volume of the large bottle, and you're asked to find the volume of the small bottle. So in this question, you're looking to find something to do with the smaller object. So we're going to use the scale factor of reduction. Okay. So using just the dimensions you're given, the two heights, you can say that the linear scale factor of reduction is going to be 32 over 40. So the volume scale factor of reduction is going to be 32 over 40 all cubed. Okay, don't bother working it out and trying to um, write it as a decimal, especially if you're going to round it because you're just then losing the accuracy. Leave it as it is. Okay, now our large bottle was uh, 1500, so to get the volume of the small bottle, we just take the volume of the large bottle and multiply that by your volume scale factor of reduction which is 32 over 40, all cubed, and you get an answer of 768 centimeters cubed. And that's you. Okay, so that's two examples. One where you're having to find the volume of the large object, one where you're having to find the volume of the smaller object. So here's a couple of examples for you to try yourselves, see how you get on. Pause the video and check back to see if what you've got is what we've got. Okay. Let's move this down just now and we'll look at the first question here. So you're asked to find the volume of the larger flask. So what I've got to do is just say that the volume is going to be the volume of the small flask multiplied by the scale factor of enlargement. So that's going to be 10 over 7 and because it's a volume question I cube it. Okay. And once I do that I end up with an answer of 
centimeters cubed. That's to one decimal place. Okay? So 45 times 10 over 7, all cubed, and you get an answer of 131.2 centimeters cubed. Now, for the second question, you're asked to find the volume of the smaller of the two jugs. Well, you've got the volume of the large one. So to get the volume of the small jug, we just uh, take the volume of the small jug, which is 18,000, and we multiply that by a scale factor of reduction, which is 35 over 50, and we cube all of that, and we get an answer of 6174 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's how you would deal with questions where you're given uh, two dimensions, uh, two corresponding dimensions, and you are having to find either the volume of the large object or the smaller object. But you can also be asked a question where you're told maybe the two volumes, and you're asked to find a missing dimension, or in this case, the missing height, the unknown height of the larger cup. So these two coffee cups, these two takeaway cups, they are similar in uh, shape. So we've got to find out the height of the larger coffee cup. All right? Now, to do that, because I'm having to find an unknown dimension, what I need to do is find the linear scale factor of enlargement. Now, one thing we can find quite easily is the volume scale factor of enlargement. Okay? And the volume scale factor of enlargement is just 660 over 320. Now remember to go from the linear scale factor of enlargement to the volume scale factor of enlargement. What you had to do was cube the linear scale factor. Well, to go from the volume scale factor to the linear scale factor, we've got to do the opposite of cubing, and that is to find the cube root. So the linear scale factor of enlargement is going to be the cube root of 660 over 320, okay? And be careful that you cube root the whole thing. So that's what I need to use, okay? So now that I know the, the, the linear scale factor of enlargement, and because I've got a side that corresponds to the unknown dimension, I'm good to go, okay? So all I need to do to find my unknown dimension is I can say that the height of the coffee cup is going to be uh, 11, which was the corresponding length. We multiply that by the cube root, 660 divided by 320, and we get an answer of 14 centimeters. Okay, 14 centimeters exactly. So that's how you would deal with a question where you're given two volumes and you're having to find out a missing dimension. So find the volume scale factor, either of reduction or enlargement, depending on what the question is. Then find the linear scale factor by cube rooting it, and then going on and using it, along with the corresponding side. Okay, so I hope that was helpful, and that's how you deal with the volume of similar shapes.